So today we're going to go ahead and solve this AP Physics B problem from 1995. It's the third one. Um, I encourage you to go try this problem yourself and then check back in on the video. We'll go through how to do it and also the AP rubric. Cool. So after you've done it, let's look together. So for A, we want to go ahead and find the triple acceleration. Okay. So our equation for AC, and I always write my equations down first, that is just V squared over R. Okay. And we want the AC of um, star A. Okay. So let's see, the velocity, and so we need it all in terms of RA, RBP, and fundamental constants. So like big G and things like that are allowed. Okay, and again, we know both of these orbits are circular, and they both have a period of T. Cool. Uh, we're not allowed to have V in our final answer, so let's think about what can we substitute in for V. Ah, I know. V is equal to 2 pi R, the circumference over the period for circular motion. Cool. So let's put that in. So that's like 2 pi R over t, we can square that, oh, oh my goodness, sorry about that, disappeared for a second, over r, so let's simplify that, so that's like 4 pi squared, r squared over t squared over r, which that's essentially like, what, 4 pi squared, r squared over t squared, times 1 over r, one of these r's will cancel out, so we're left with 4 pi squared r over t squared, cool, um, so, okay, let's think about it. Now let's make sure we're plugging in the right thing. So we know AC is going to be 4 pi squared. R, the radius in this case, is just RA, so I should plug that in. And the period is just T. Cool. I got my answer for it. Okay, so if the rubric for this part of the problem is just one point for saying AC equals V squared over R, one point for using this equation, and one point for your answer. Okay. So let's go ahead and go on to the next part. So now we want to find the mass MB of star B. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that up there. Okay, this is tricky. So I know I'm dealing with circular motion. I know I'm dealing with gravitational forces. Oftentimes when I set up those things, I'm going to use F nets equals FG. This is just a little bit of foresight, but it'll work either way. I'm going to focus on star A, partly because for A, we found the centripetal acceleration star, and I think that'll be helpful. So I'm going to look at star A. So for star A, it is moving in a circle. So I'm going to say F net C, it is moving in a circle. What forces are acting on star A? The only force acting on star A is just the gravitational force between A and B. So I'm going to say F net C is going to be equal to FG. Okay, so F net C, what is that? That is the mass of star A, which, what is the mass of star A? Do they say, oh yeah, MA, they're saying. MA is the mass of star A times the triple acceleration is equal to the gravitational force, which I know the equation for gravitational force is G times MA times MB, and it should be a capital MB over R squared, which is the distance between them. So again, that is the distance between the two. Okay, let's think about what we can plug in now. So AC, we just found AC in part A. That is so fun. So that is 4 pi squared R A over T, G M A M B over the R is again the distance between them. So that is R A plus R B squared. Don't forget the square. The first time I did this problem, I forgot the square. Very easy silly mistake. Okay, so now I can just go ahead and solve this for mass of B. Oh, this is so fun. Mass of A cancels out. I love it. Um, and so if I simplify this, so I'm going to get 4 pi squared RA over, oh, I should multiply on the top. We'll have what? RA plus RB squared over G. Oh my goodness, I just did a silly mistake. This is T squared. See, it is so easy to do a silly mistake. I forgot the T squared right there. Don't do a silly mistake like, well, it's okay to do a silly mistake. Okay, cool. So that is going to be the mass of star B. Wow, what a beast of a problem. Okay, so here's the rubric for this problem. So for this part, you get one point for using FNC, which is MAC. You also get one point for your FG equation. Um, and again, I encourage you to get, and I believe it's just, Putting this FG equation down is just fine. And then you get one point for setting F net C equal to FG. And then you get one point for solving for MB and getting the correct answer. So that part is worth four points right there. 
Okay, let's go ahead and look at C. So C is the mass MA of star A. Okay, we already went through this for so again, we focus on star A. We can do the opposite and focus on star B. So essentially we'll do MB, sorry, MB times AC is equal to the same stuff. We go ahead and simplify instead of MA canceling out, and B will cancel out, and we'll be left with M, and then we'll be left with MA. So again, that is just going to be the exact same process. And so our answer is going to be 4 pi squared times RB times RA plus RB squared over GT squared equals MA. Okay, so that is just our answer for C. So for this part, you get, according to the AP rubric for C, you get one point for realizing symmetry. And then you get one point for the answer. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points so far. I tell my students that if you're getting around nine points correct, that's about a five. However, I personally think B and C are the hardest part of this problem. So let's go ahead and go on to the rest of the problem. So again, it's okay if you're not getting B and C 100% correct. I think you can get a lot of points from um, B. Okay, so now we're going to find the following quantities in terms of all of these givens and fundamental constants. So we want the moment of inertia of the two-star system about a center of mass. Okay, I look at these stars. Those stars look like to me, those are point masses. They are rotating about the same, same point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up my equation for a moment of inertia of point masses. So that is essentially m1r1 squared plus m2r2 squared plus and so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and make sure we're plugging in the right things now. So m1, that is going to be ma times radius of a squared plus m2 is going to be the mass of b times the radius of b squared. Cool, and we got our answer. So essentially the AP rubric for this one, this is worth three points, so it's two points for getting the correct moment of inertia equation, writing that equation down, and then it's one point for the correct answer. Okay, let's go to the last part. So we want the angular momentum of the system about the center mass. Okay, there are a lot of ways to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and go through both ways. So one way we can do this is we can use L equals I omega. So angular momentum is, is L, so it's the moment of inertia times omega. Let's think about what we can plug in. Well, so fun, and D, and I love how AP problems do this. We already found I, so let's go ahead and plug that in. So that's MA times RA squared plus what? MB times RB squared. Okay, so they told us we can't have omega in our final answer. We have to have any of these given up here. So let's see about this. So omega is going to be, that's essentially the change in theta over change in time. I'll think about something going around once. And again, this is circular motion going around once. So the theta to go around once, that's going to be 2 pi, because we'll want that answer to be in radians per second, essentially. The time to go around once is just the period. So this is just going to be 2 pi over t. Cool. And this right here is just our final answer. So for this part, you'll get one point for putting the correct equation down for L equals I omega. You will also get one point for indicating that for angular momentum you're essentially adding which we did with our momentum measure so one point we add the l's which we essentially did in this case and then one point for the answer so one point for final answer so that part is three points awesome i'm going to show one other way to solve this problem i'll do it in a different color so what's our so again we agree that the star system those are point masses so instead of i omega we can use mbr so again, we have two things. So we have LA plus LB, essentially. So it is, we can do, let's see, MA times velocity A times what? Radius of A plus MB times velocity of B times radius of B. Cool. So we have those two things. Now let's see what we can plug in just so we only deal with what the stuff has. So we have MA is allowed, velocity of A. Okay, so we need the velocity for as it's moving in, ooh, circles. Again, this is a circular motion problem. So let's see, as it's moving in a circle, that's going to be 2 pi ra over t times um, ra. Sorry, you're just seeing all my homework that I'm assigning my students. So cool, I'm making this video. So fun. Um, 
plus, let's see, mb, and that is 2 pi rb over t times rb. Cool, and you could go ahead and simplify that. You would get the exact same answer as what we just did, but you can also just leave it like that. Why simplify? And again, for this point, it's one point for essentially about everything that you need to add the angular momentum together of each thing. There is one point for the correct equation for angular momentum. So again, you could use point masses, MVR. And again, if you already did it, use I omega or work down that equation, you already got your point. But this is another way to get the point. And then one point for the answer. Cool. Thanks for watching.